we have one more thing to learn about while loops, and that's the break statement. Break gives us a way to stop the loop even while the test condition is true. So here's the typical structure of a loop with a break. So we have the while as we did before, and we have the test expression, and we had a colon. And our general while structure is we had a block here. Now I'm gonna look inside this block a little bit to see the kinds of things that could be here. And this is just an example of what might be in the block. We have some code, we have some Python statements, then we have an if statement. And that's gonna have another test expression. We'll call that the break test. That's a test expression that's checking whether it's time to take a break. And when the break test is true, what we have is break, which by itself is all we need. What break means is stop executing the while loop, jump out of the while loop and continue with the code after that. So whatever we had here, this is more code that was in the while block, that will get skipped and we'll jump to this point, which is the code after the while. So what happens when we execute a loop with a break, it executes like a normal loop. If the test expression is true, we go to the code. If the break test is false, we don't execute the break. We would continue with the more code. We would go back to the loop test, check the test expression again. If it's true, we go run this code. If the break test is true, then we execute the break. And what break does is jump out of the loop. So we don't execute the more code. We don't execute the test expression again. If the break happens, what happens is we jump to the code after the while. This gives us a way to break out of the middle of the loop. Here's an example of how we might use that. So before we define the procedure print numbers without using break, we defined it like this. So this is the code we had before. We could rewrite that using break. So now instead of having the while test stop the loop, we'll make the while test true. True will never become false. That means if we didn't have a break, the loop would keep going forever. But we're going to add a break. We're going to have an if test that says, well, the stopping condition now is we're going to stop once i is greater than n. And the way to stop is to use break. If i is not greater than n, then we're going to keep going. We'll do the same thing we did before. We'll print i and we'll add 1 to i. So this loop has exactly the same meaning as the one we had before. The previous one's better in every way, right? So this is more complex, is more code. This illustrates how we can use break. We wouldn't want to do it this way. This is much worse than what we had before. We want to keep our code simple and easy to understand. We'll see once we get to the code for extracting all the links on the page that there are cases where it's easier to write the code using break than it is without that.